Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I've got something really cool to check out. This is from uh, Comica. Kind of, I guess that's how you pronounce the name. But this is a six channel smartphone wireless microphone. Something I've been actually wanting a way to use my phone, my iPhone, and have the audio to remain good quality even when I'm not near the phone. So if I got my phone on a tripod uh, and then I'm away from it to talking making a video then I'll have this lapel mic and the um, transmitter unit to transmit to the receiver unit that goes on the near the phone and record my audio along with the video on the iPhone so this ought to be really cool this is a CVM WS 50 a um, it shows a few things here I'll read off first. It is six channel. Working distance is 60 meters. I think it's pretty close to 200 feet. Um, built in smart phone holder. And hopefully it'll hold or fit this big phone with this case. It has stepless volume adjustment. Real time audio monitor. Of course, it's lithium batteries and an LCD screen. On here looks like it has an LCD screen on both. I have not opened this unit yet. Flip over and look at the back of the box. It says about the same thing. Uh, extendable for connection with LED light. Uh, grip, tripod, cold shoe. So you can. It's got a place where you connect this thing, put it on a tripod or whatever, which is what I'm actually interested in. And built-in rechargeable lithium batteries. So it shows not much on that end, another picture on that end. Let's go ahead and open the box up and see what's inside. Get the tape here. It's real, real nice packaging and a nice security case for it. That's pretty cool. So has a brand name on the case and a nice handle to carry it in. Go ahead and open it up here. And we got some uh, stuff there, silicon beads. Well, it's a nice thick manual, but that's probably because it's in multiple languages. And here we have the uh, receiver, transmitter, and the handle unit. And here we have the cables. Not sure what all this is yet. Here's our lapel mic. So we can actually stick this on here to stay onto the lapel mic. And where we can clip it on, on your shirt. Plug it in to the transmitter unit. Okay, this must be probably a charging cable here. Uh, USB looks like a uh, mini USB or micro USB, sorry. This is the handle itself, which will have the battery pack in. You can see the quarter inch hole here to connect to tripod or other ways of connecting. This is the remote. Really cool little place to keep the remote. You can actually use it if you're using it on here. You can use it with it on here, or you can uh, take it out and use it as a wireless remote. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we get the handle. I'm not sure what we do here. That will adjust it and tighten it and tighten it down on whatever you put on here, which is this unit. Okay, so we take the handle here, and we put this on right here, thread it onto here. This is quarter inch on this end. It is actually quarter inch on this end too, so you could put a light or whatever above this. If you wanted a light for your camera, you could put it above it. So we want that about right here. We want it where our phone is facing toward us. And the button's right here. You could adjust it wherever you want, actually. And then we'll tighten this bottom nut up here to make it snug. Now this is adjustable, and I hope that it goes out to fit that big case. That case, it's hard to find anything that fits that big of a case like I use on my iPhone, but I like good protection on my phone, so that's why I have a big case on it. So 
So we put this up here. I'm going to go far enough. And I'm not all the way out yet. Oh yes, actually just like perfect fit. So all my messages keep coming up here. Perfect fit. Now we want to make sure that our on this side before we tighten it down that our camera is not obstructed, which is not. We don't want it in the way of anything. And then we can snug this dude down on here like this. Really nice how that tightens down. It's I mean you can crank it down. You want to be careful because that would tighten it down pretty tight on here. My screen is not cracked. It's just the little cover on here is cracked. So not actually the screen itself, but boy, that is pretty cool. So we need to connect it. Okay, so in this little package here is what? Oh, okay, that's kind of neat. That's a dead cat. Call it a dead cat because it looks like a cat, but it's a fuzzy thing that goes on here. You can use this on your lapel mic instead of using this foam. If you're in real high wind noise, use this dead cat on here. It'll slip over it and then you can just tighten it down. And this will keep out a lot more wind noise than the actual little foam. So, pretty cool. If you don't want it, you can use the foam, either one. So, on the connection onto the foam, we have this jack here, 3.5 millimeter, that will connect into the main unit. And then, of course, because this is not lightning, you will have to have the iPhone, the Apple connector from lightning to 3.5 millimeter to plug this into and then we'll plug this into the lightning connector on the back of the phone so that is connected there on the transmitter unit which goes on your person we will plug in the microphone here this will go on my shirt okay so I got the unit ready here to set up uh, the remote control is so you can take photos or turn your camera on to record is something you might use I, it's a feature that I won't be actually using but some people may like it uh, so what we do is we got a power button on each one and we power this on power this unit on now this button here says set and we can set it on the channel we want this one you notice is on channel 2 this one is on 0 it's got six channels, so that's why this is blinking. They've not connected together. Now once we change this set button to number two, it should connect. This is solid green. They're both solid green. So now it's ready to go. It's connected. You can actually see my audio in here. Let me take this mic and show you. Okay, now you can see the audio. Uh, I took the microphone holding it up closer to me. You can see the audio levels here raising. And over here when I talk, you can also see that it's raising here. So we can tell that we're definitely communicating. And we're going through the lightning cable to the phone. So when we record, we should have audio on there. So now we just need to test that out. We'll take it outside to do this. Okay, and because it's, uh, it's really pretty windy out today, I'm going to go ahead and put this dead cat on here uh, to keep it a lot more uh, wind noise out. It should do a lot better than the foam. So we'll stick it in there pull our drawstring tight around it and now with this on here we should be a lot better as far as uh, keeping the wind noise out because the wind hits this and it don't let the uh, the noise from the wind into the microphone near as much so we'll see how this works okay I'm outside now you can see that I have the microphone lapel mic clipped up here with the uh, dead cat on it I have the transmitter unit on my side of course, this is the receiver unit with the phone mounted on it. I just need to turn on my phone here, put it on video, and now when I start recording, my audio should go through the transmitter to the receiver through the cord uh, with the lightning adapter onto the phone. So it's pretty windy out here. Hopefully this won't be too bad about wind. Right now I'm going to turn around and actually you'll see the video of the phone. I'm going to put this phone on that tripod right there that the camera's on right now. Okay, here you can see that I took the phone, I got it on here, and I have it on the Manfrotto tripod. Um, 
So you just put your little tripod mount on the bottom of this and then clip it right in. And now we're mounted and ready to go. I'll have to turn the camera around so it faces me and I'll walk back down the hill that direction and we'll see how the audio does. Okay guys, I brought this down to the bottom so the better lighting, that way the sun would have been in the camera pretty good so I went ahead and moved it. So I'm just going to walk up here a little ways and check it out. I won't actually be using it a long distance. I'm going to use it right here where I'm at, but I just want the even volume because if I use my phone to record anything, everywhere you move your phone because of where the microphone is placed, well, your audio goes up and down. Then when you go to edit the video, your audio is always wrong on every clip. So with this and the microphone being in place, your audio should stay the same no matter where you move your phone, anywhere around, even if you're... Uh, you have your motorcycle or whatever your video and sitting back here and you're walking around your audio should stay the same so that is pretty cool they do say to turn this thing into airplane mode just to keep the interference down so I actually did that we'll see what that helps I don't know if it does or not and I got the volume there is a volume uh, scroll on there you can turn it down I got it set about three-fourths of the way and hopefully that's a loud enough audio for you to Hear, hear me good, I actually can't tell right now until we get up there and check it out. So I'm going to walk back here a little ways. Not too far. Uh, I'll do another video later and see how far I can get it to reach out. But this is probably we're around, we're around 50 feet, 75 feet, somewhere in there now. So I turn around here. So we're Close to 80 I'd say we're getting close to a good hundred foot if I was just guessing what a hundred foot extension cord would be that's pretty close which is way more distance than I'm ever going to use so hopefully this turned out good I have not heard it yet until I get back and play back the video the wind is blowing pretty good right here you can probably see it on that tarp back there and the leaves blowing around probably 15 miles an hour and hopefully this dead cat's working good and not picking up a lot of wind noise. So I'll check the video out and see how good it looks. All right, guys, that was a six channel wireless microphone from Comica made for your cell phone. Click the thumbs up on this video, subscribe. I'll put a link to Comica. I didn't get paid a dime for this. They did send it to me a review, but they're not paying me anything. Now I do make a little bit off my Amazon store. So if you click on the link below to purchase it, I make a little bit off that. But otherwise, I'm not getting paid anything on this. Hopefully, I get to use this on a lot of videos in the future. So I plan to use it on a video on my motorcycle here in a little bit to do a uh, rear rack and roto packs review uh, install. So we'll see how it works on that. Thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next one. Right on.